childbirth, traumas, patient's death, and surgical operations. These are the reasons many people can't be doctors. Because not a lot of people have the stomach to be able to withstand witnessing all of this. A lot of med students faint during surgeries, especially when witnessing their first surgeries. A lot of them, about 80% of them feel dizzy. And a lot of students can withstand witnessing their first childbirth. Their experience is so horrifying and terrifying. So a lot of people ask why people faint during surgeries. And if you faint during a surgery for your first time, can you actually become a surgeon? For example, if med students that faint, like we had uh, our, you know, our first uh, childbirth section, and a lot of my classmates actually fell down to their feet. I was one of the people that just walked away. It was uh, difficult for me to watch because I've never seen so much pain, so I'm going through so much trauma. So I like just walked away and walked out of the room. I don't know if it, maybe if I'd stayed there for about five more minutes, I would have fainted too. And my mates would just use it against me for the rest of my life. They will remember it every day and every time we have a conversation and I'm trying to form to be, you know, the tough guy that I am. Believe me, I am not a weak person. I am a complete example of what we call an alpha sigma male. I have so much testosterone that I can donate some of it and still have enough to overpower three men. Yeah, but yeah. that first day I was able, that I witnessed childbirth, I felt dizzy. I'm not going to lie to anybody. It was so much pain and it was a completely new experience that I had to walk out of the room. And my teacher actually had to support me for me to be able to witness the remaining part of uh, the, you know, the childbirth. So the vaso vega reflex is a normal reaction. He said, okay, let me bring it down to how you can understand. The vaso vega reflex is simply fainting. And a lot of students will experience this. A lot of people can't actually witness blood. If people see accidents, uh, you know, when they see blood gushing out, they can't, uh, you know, stand and they are the same because, you know, many of them faint. A lot of people faint from hearing uh, bad news. So, you know, if you actually find someone that fainted and you think it's a vaso vega reflex, then we actually made a shot on our channel on how you can be able to revive the person. So you can go check that out. We're not going to be putting it anywhere. Go look for it yourself. All right, so before I continue this video, there's something I want to say. I did not faint during surgery. I never fainted during childbirth. All right, some of my classmates did when they witnessed their first surgeries, but I wish I walked out of the room because I felt dizzy, and that is normal. A lot of people feel this at the beginning, but a lot of people that feel this continue to become very good surgeons. The more you are able to, to witness more surgeries, the more you are able to witness more of these operations, the more used to it you become and the more you are able to withstand these processes without actually feeling anything. It was the same thing when we saw our first dead bodies when we were in the anatomy class and the teacher brought down their cadaver and we were supposed to actually touch it and identify some arteries and nerves and veins. It was traumatizing at first, but after a while we actually became very used to it that we started actually eating in the classroom where they were cadavers. Okay, we ate in classrooms where they were dead bodies. I'm not gonna say it basically. So people did, I did. And uh, it's something you actually get used to. At first time it can be very traumatizing. It gives you bad dreams. It didn't give me any bad dreams. I'm tough. People like Amarachi might have a different story to tell. I don't believe her completely, but let's hear what she has to say about the Vega vessel reflex. So like Arman said, there's the vessel Vega reflex where your body reacts to be it trauma or be it news or be it whatnot and whatnot. But then what I realized during my time, right? Sincerely, let me tell you the full gist, right? Okay, so while the childbirth was going on, I started to get dizzy at a point. I think I don't want to get into gruesome details because i feel like i'll scar you guys as well <laughs> but then i started to feel dizzy and i actually stepped off for a bit but the difference is that i entered i went back into the hole because i wanted to see the full experience you know sometimes i realize that situations like that actually propel your dream or they motivate you even more to become a better doctor these things are very normal fainting feeling dizzy having fear during surgeries and whatnot it's all part of the process so if you're a med student and you're also facing those issues as well you should not be discouraged by it honestly i myself felt dizzy i felt like i was going to faint i even felt like i was going to vomit but i returned back to the hope because i wanted to see the full process to the end that's the difference some people take it differently so you shouldn't now think of or question yourself whether you're in the right career path or you're actually doing the right thing if this happens to you it is very normal all right so no matter who you are no matter where you come from no matter what you do no matter what you are you can be able to become a doctor and it's uh, going to be tough at first getting used to the medical environment to the hospital environment and the dead bodies and uh, delivering deaths to you know the, the news of the of a dead person to your the loved ones and they actually see 
being comfortable with dead bodies and uh, witnessing surgeries someone being cut open and the blood gushing out and stuff like that but uh, you're going to get used to it as long as you are committed to the profession so that was it for today's video thanks a lot for watching and a shout out to ruby and ruhi <laughs> see you guys in the next video <laughs>